Fade from view. Understanding the phrase in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, fade from view. This phrase is not just about visual experiences, but also carries a deeper, metaphorical meaning. So, let's dive in and uncover the nuances of this expression. The phrase, fade from view, literally means to disappear slowly from sight. Imagine watching a ship sailing away. Gradually, it becomes so distant that you can no longer see it. This visual fading is the core idea behind the phrase. However, in English, we often use it metaphorically. It can describe something that is becoming less prominent or relevant over time. For example, a topic of interest that loses public attention can be said to fade from view. To understand how to use fade from view correctly, let's look at some examples. 1. As the years passed, the memories of his childhood slowly faded from view. 2. With the rapid advancement of technology, older methods are fading from view. In these sentences, the phrase is used to convey the gradual disappearance or decline of something, whether it's a memory, a method, or even a physical object. Knowing synonyms and related phrases can enhance your understanding and usage. Some synonyms for fade from view include vanish from sight, disappear, dwindle. Each of these carries a slightly different connotation, but they all revolve around the idea of something becoming less visible or less significant. A common mistake learners make is using fade from view in contexts where something disappears quickly or abruptly. Remember, this phrase implies a gradual process. It's not suitable for situations where something vanishes instantly or unexpectedly. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase fade from view. Remember, English is full of such picturesque expressions that add color and depth to our conversations. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use fade from view in your conversations or writings when the context is right. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.